All right, so I'm not quite sure what's going on, but uh, this run is turning into a little bit of a slog. My heart rate says 160. Well, welcome back everybody and welcome to another week. Today is Monday, so we've got less than four weeks until the Ultra Marathon. Today is all about easy run. Zoe's gonna run 5k? Yeah. And then I'm probably gonna, maybe I only run 5, maybe I run 10. We're just gonna go on based on how I feel, but we're gonna get headed out on this run. It's a solid start to the week. Really, really excited. Got about two, maybe three weeks of, of pushing hard, and then we've got to taper quick to get ready for that ultra. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. As always, we're waiting for Zoe's watch. What? So slow. The GPS on your going. watch is slow. Yours is still going. Mine's ready. Wait. It's okay. almost done. Just a minute. What's interesting, last run I was on just two days ago, I've been talking about my ankle bothering me for the last uh, last few months. In that 25 kilometers with tons of elevation up and downhill, you would think my Achilles would be in rougher shape. Put a lot of stress on that. But uh, Kind of feeling the best it's felt in a while. Don't want to jinx it, but uh, barely feeling any discomfort in my Achilles at all as I finish up this easy run. So easy run there, run is done. Uh, felt pretty good. What's really interesting, I don't know if I said this earlier, but you would think after probably the hardest that I've been on my ankle in over a year in terms of just all the elevation, all the hard running on the 25K that I did just two days ago, that my ankle, that my Achilles, that's been bothering me a little bit for the past number of months, would really be screaming. But uh, it feels really good. So not sure what that's about, but happy about it. Uh, gonna go in and call it a day, 10 kilometers. Felt nice and easy. Felt solid, felt like a good run. Excited for the rest of the week. All right, see you guys tomorrow. So today is Wednesday, May 31st. I've got about three and a half weeks left in teaching before the school year is over in June, which also means I've got three and a half weeks left before my first ultra marathon. This morning, I am so, so tired. I got very little sleep last night, but I thought rather than just lying there in bed, I'd squeeze a little bit of a run in this morning. I don't know what kind of a run I'm going to get in this afternoon. I was hoping for uh, about another 10K, but it is going to be extremely hot. Uh, 30 degrees Celsius with a feel like temperature of 32, which is really, really hot here. I'll put that up in Fahrenheit. But uh, so we're going to go on an easy run here, maybe only about 5K just to just to get the legs moving. Uh, to start my day and hopefully make me feel a little bit better but uh, I need to start cranking up the mileage because in a couple of weeks we need to be ready <clears throat> Run's done, a little bit over 10 kilometers. Um, I'm noticing in these runs, I've been trying to run more runs based on effort and not look at my heart rate quite so much, especially when it's an easy run. A little bit over 10K this morning in, and even though it felt not too bad, I knew it was tired, probably run a little bit too hard, and when I look back at my heart rate, definitely, definitely more than easy, more of like a steezy pace relative to my heart rate. But uh, solid run, 
had a little bit of a couple of strides at the end to pick it up. Still was able to turn over the legs pretty quick for me. Gonna get ready, head off to teaching this afternoon. If we've got any energy left in the tank, it's gonna be a leg workout. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Back with you guys this afternoon. So I had that easy 10K this morning. Now this afternoon I taught tonight. We're actually heading back to the gym. So I'm gonna run to the gym. I mentioned this in the last video that uh, it's about three kilometers to the gym. So a nice warm up. Now it is pretty warm out here right now, probably about 30 degrees Celsius. And I need to get there, take it nice and easy, do a back and biceps workout, and then run home that three kilometers if I've got any energy left. If not, I'll just walk it, no big deal. These are just extra kilometers to tack on uh, to the weekly mileage. So I'm gonna head off to the gym and uh, I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so here we are back in biceps workout is uh, is all done. Felt pretty good. It's actually cooled off a lot in the last hour and 10 minutes or so that I was in the gym. So quick jog home, uh, just a little bit under three kilometers and uh, we're gonna call it a day. I felt pretty good today. My ankle has been holding up really really well did you hear that got a hot stuff shout out from uh from a friend i work at that gym so it's not really fair because that's one of my co-workers but we're gonna go home um call it a day probably get some probably get some wontons my daughter made some wontons so i'm probably gonna eat all those out of the fridge because i am starving all right see you guys tomorrow All right, so here we are. Uh, another easy run today. Um, don't really know how much I'm going to do. I have to get to the second job here in a bit. So probably 10, maybe, maybe 12K. But my plan over the next few weeks leading to this ultra is mostly going to be just about picking up the mileage where I can. Uh, busy the last couple of weeks of school. I realized today, and I know I'm going to mention this probably several times, but I realized today that this ultra happens the day after the last day of school. And as a teacher, it feels like some uh, cruel and unusual way to celebrate the end, of the end of the school year. But we're training for that. We've got three weeks and a day left. Uh, gonna get maybe again 10, 12K in this afternoon. Long run tomorrow. And then we'll see what's left on the legs come Sunday. But uh, we're gonna go on this run, log some EV miles, and um, that's it. Yeah, all right. Let's go. So there we have it, running it done. Uh, push it maybe a little bit harder than I wanted to. Still not a hard run, just a little bit harder. I realized looking at my watch, I've got to get the car over to the shop so that they can change the tires before I actually head off to work uh, at the gym. So gonna have to run to work, which is gonna tack on a, a couple of more kilometers to the day because then I've got to run home. So uh, gonna be a pretty solid day. Haven't quite figured out how we're gonna get the car back. I think probably my wife's gonna pick that up. That's a that's a whole nother story for another day, but right now I'm gonna get in, get everything I need for work, get the car off to the shop, head to the gym. Alright, let's go. Bye! Bye! Alright. Alright, so a little bit of a change of plans this afternoon. I know I said I was gonna be off uh that's locked. I know I was gonna take the car over to the shop. Not doing that now. Uh, I called my wife, she's gonna be home in time. Again, another story for a different day, but I'm not gonna do that. Since I'm dressed already, I might as well head off to the gym. Uh, about three kilometers to tack onto the 11 I've already done. And then another three on my way home after, after I'm done work, after nine. So I'm gonna head off there now. Short run, probably not gonna film very much because really kind of boring, you guys have seen it time it'll be three kilometers all right let's go all right hi everybody and welcome to sunday it is a uh, long run sunday now i've got to admit this week has been a little bit up and down for me i planned on doing a run yesterday didn't get it in 
Uh, it's late in the afternoon here Sunday. I did a pretty pretty good chest, shoulders and triceps workout earlier today. Uh, we're gonna try to get a long run in. I don't have a plan on how far this is gonna go. Uh, we're out here probably in my last run with the Saucony Triumphs 20, Triumph 20s. That's a whole nother video. Tune in for that. I don't know which one's gonna come out first. But um, yeah, we're gonna go on this long run and just play it by ear, see how we feel, see how many kilometers we can log today. So nothing really in the plan, just gonna get out and go for a run. All right, let's go. All right, so running is done. Uh, a little bit over 31 kilometers. Way harder than I thought it should be, but uh, felt, <coughs> excuse me, felt pretty good. I will say, and I'm not making excuses, I'm just trying to figure out why that long run felt so much harder than, than it normally would, was uh, it's only been three weeks since the marathon. And last week on Sunday, on Saturday, I pushed a, a pretty hard 25 plus kilometer uh, run in terms of just the amount of hills. Uh, so maybe there's still some fatigue in my legs from the marathon. Uh, <coughs> it's certainly possible. I only took a week off, but this was a pretty, a pretty good week. I think probably, probably just crept Right around 70 kilometers. Again, nothing too big, but pretty happy with just uh, three weeks post-marathon. So onward and upward. Uh, hopefully I recover well from this one. And uh, next week, where we're into our last three weeks before the ultra, um, next week, likely, if it's in me, will be my biggest week. And then we'll start to taper down. Just make sure we're ready for that. So. I'm gonna get inside, <coughs> excuse me, get something to eat, but that's it for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, man, onward and upward. This, this, has been, this has been a journey bouncing back from that marathon. And of course, my name is Matt, and this is what matters to Matt. And ultimately, what matters to me most is my family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Step one, wake up for the going rise of the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, can everybody just do your thing? Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.